went from a play to a movie. Um, what kind of feedback are you getting? Are you happy with the feedback you're getting so far? Extraordinary feedback. Not since Luis Valdez's Zoot Suit has there been a film that's really captured right. the uh, East L.A. experience. We figured that uh, the way that Richard Montoya, the writer, plays that he says, uh, uh, Zoot Suit was the grandfather, American Me was the father, and this is the son. Nice. Water and power. There you go. <laughs> now, Emilio, the other day I was reading one of your posts where you said, you know, 10 years ago, you would be getting rejected from playing roles and stuff. Now you're the star of the movie, man. Um, is it a long period for you to play such a role? You know, um, you know, the thing is, is, bro, find out what you do best, run with it, and eventually they'll see you, you can do other stuff. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So just, you know, find your niche, man, and, and, don't, and don't quit. And, and, and uh, eventually they'll, they'll say, you know what, that guy could actually can act. You know, I'm talking <laughs> about it, and I just, just, just do it. Don't, don't, don't quit. The main thing is don't quit, man. Don't quit, right. Now, as far as, like, certain roles that we have as far as Latinos, you know, uh, this is what I always say. As Latinos, we already made an impact in the political arena. No politician is going to make it into office without the Latino vote. When, how far are we from saying that in Hollywood to say, you know what, this movie's not going to be a hit without any kind of Latino influence? Boy, I hope I see that day. I would be the happiest day of my life, to be honest with you. Um, that w could happen if people start coming out. If they go and see uh, uh, Water and Power and it catches fire, you'll see a, a slew of films with Latino stars in them. And that's what it's going to take. As soon as the box office comes in our favor and the people start to say, hey, man, I'll go see it if there's a Latino leading the pack, then you'll see the whole thing change. And that's what's needed because I, for these kids right. and for all the children, Latino children, they need to see their stories. You know, we've never gotten a chance to see our stories. If it wasn't for Zoot Suit and the few films that we've had out, um, there'd be very few movies that uh, depict our culture here in the United States of America. So besides the fans coming out and supporting these, what else do you think we need to get those movies, get that influence? We need the fans to, to go out and support the films, Carnot. You know, you ask for a Chicano film, we don't get no more Chicano than Water and Power. You know there what I'm saying? Go. So <laughs> here, here we go, you know what I mean? And if, as far as a presidential, I'd vote for Mr. Edward James, almost for president, homie, anytime. <laughs> there you go. Gentlemen, thank you thank very you much. Thank you. Thank you. It's Michael Flores. Thanks to Urban Melody TV. Shout out. Let's have a great time. Support Water and Power, all your raza. Thank you.